Hello everyone in Light Academy family. Chikos David is my name. I bring you greetings in the name Almighty name. Um, this is a lesson which I organized for senior five ICT class. Hello boys, hopefully you are doing fine. Before we impromptly broke off, we had looked at ICT as information and communication technology. We defined information, we defined communication, we defined technology. We looked at the technologies that make up ICT as information technology and communication technology. We looked at ICTs in general, where we say that we do not only look at computers to mean ICTs, but things to do with phones, co computers, uh, satellite, radios, name it. From that point, we looked at the reasons why we study ICT. We also looked at uh, the application areas of ICT, where we mentioned education, we mentioned um, health, we mentioned leisure and entertainment, we mentioned research, we mentioned government and uh, politics, name it. We looked at uh, the impacts or implications of ICTs to our society, both the negative and then positive uh, impacts. And from that point, I bring to you in the comfort of your living room our brand new topic as uh, computer literacy. Computer literacy, it refers to as the having of knowledge and understanding of computers and their uses. That is what we refer to as uh, computer literacy. And under computer literacy, we shall look at a number of things to do with the system configuration and then booting. But before that, when you look at uh, the ancient computers, for you to externally use a device, for example, a keyboard and mouse, you had to install the drivers. But these modern computers did not require the installation of drivers. What is a driver? A driver is a software that allows the externally connected device to communicate well with the operating system. So the modern computers did not require some of the externally connected devices did not require the installation of drivers, so they are referred to as plug and play. For example, the keyboard, the mouse, etc. Those ones are referred to as plug and play. But when you look at uh, the printer, the scanner, and other devices, those ones that require the installation of uh, the drivers, they are not required referred to as plug and play. So, like I said, we shall look at system configuration and booting under computer literacy. What is system configuration? System configuration, those are the elements that define what the system is composed of. Now, when you look at a computer, it's made up of a number of things, both the uh, hardware component, software component, you can as well include the human where component and under human where component is where we look at the users of the computer and then the programmers who come up with the software that the computers use and under the hardware component there are so many components that make up a computer here we happen to mention the ram as a random access memory their capacities range from one gigabyte to 80 gigabyte or even more than that, we happen to have the DVD-ROM, we happen to have the hard disk drive, which uh, capacities range from um, 1 gigabyte to around 1 TB. There is also the monitor of the computer, which can be the LCD monitor or the CRT monitor, the keyboard, the processor, the software, and under the software, Entirely, we look at uh, the operating system, the application software. This one is the one which is used by the user to accomplish a given task. Now, from that point, we can as well look at a uh, program installation. I mentioned the installation of the drivers, but what is program installation? By program installation, it is the act of adding a program into a computer system for execution. To execute a program is to have it run. Every time you open a program, you are executing it. But what do you have to consider? 
before you install the program into your computer one of the consideration is, is taken to be hard disk drive consider the amount of the disk space where the program will be accommodated some software they are really big that when you install it on uh, your computer the computer will happen to slow down look at the compatibility by compatibility we mean to say uh, is this program that i'm going to install going to work well with uh, my computer if yes then go ahead and then install it also look at the processor speed like i said processor speed it is really so vital look at the processor speed some of the machines happen to have a small processor speed like one gigahertz and then some happen to have 80 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz the one which is having 4 gigahertz is far 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 much better than the one having 1 gigahertz so look at the processor speed also look at uh, the ram capacity we say the ram capacity it is the working space the working memory of the computer the smaller the ram the slower the machine so some software they are really heavy that when you install on your machine it will be really slow it will make the machine become slow look at also the security features of uh, the software you're going to install these are important in uh, a new operating system and includes firewalls malware management and setting user warrant permissions so you also look at uh, the software security features then accessibility features where am i going to get this software that i'm going to install also look at the cost of the software there are some software which are really expensive look at an antivirus like kaspersky it's really expensive so an organization needs to check on the full cost of the one the software before installation then we look at uh, booting booting it refers to the process of powering on a computer system and loading the operating system we shall begin from that point next time to be continued thank you for listening stay home stay safe